tragic scene unfolding along the Iran-Iraq border after a massive earthquake levels several buildings and is now blamed for killing more than 400 people. Benjamin Hall is live in London with the very latest. Benjamin? Yeah, good morning, Sandra. Large-scale operations are still underway amid fears that this death toll may continue to rise. It's this very mountainous region between Iran and Iraq, and that's what's made the rescue operation so very difficult. The powerful 7.3 magnitude earthquake, which struck at around 9.20 p.m., has killed over 400 people across both countries, injuring at least 6,500. An unknown number of people remain trapped under the debris. The area is a rural mountainous region where residents rely mainly on farming to make a living. The quake, which struck at a relatively shallow depth of about 14 and a half miles, sent people fleeing from their homes and into the night. More than 100 aftershocks followed, and the tremors were felt in Turkey, in Israel, and in Kuwait. The epicenter was about 19 miles outside the Iraqi Kurdish city of Halabja, but it was Iran's western Kermansha province in the Zagros Mountains that bore the brunt of the tremor. At least 70,000 people are now homeless, afraid to go back into their homes. The region is no stranger to quakes. It's where the Arabia and the Eurasia tectonic plates meet. And in 2003, a 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake in Iran killed 26,000 people. And now fears also that a dam in northern Iraq might be at risk. They've seen cracks forming in the dam that holds back the Diyala River. So on top of the 400 plus people who have died, the 70,000 who are now homeless and the 6,500 injured fears that this might indeed get a little bit worse. Sandra? A tragic situation there. Benjamin Hall, thank you.